Hey everyone, it's Comp Helps MVP Dude 808, and if you notice, I have a new microphone now. So I hope the quality is at least a little bit better, and if not, then I don't know. I kind of switched my mics because I didn't like my other one. Well, anyway, today's tutorial is going to be on the Rocket Dock. Now, I have had tons and tons and tons of people asking me about this, and I never wanted to do the tutorial on it because so many other people have done it. I didn't want to follow everyone else. Well, since I'm getting so many requests for it, why not? Why not do the tutorial? So, alright, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to get it, and how to uh, use it, and how to make it to my settings, to where it's not on the top, it's on the side, how to make it auto hide, and such. Okay? So, hope you guys enjoy this. Here we go. Alright, the first thing you want to do is open up your internet browser. Okay. So, uh, let's wait for this. And go to Rocket Doc. Doc. Com. Easy as this. And you go to Download. That's right, Download. Now you'll see the minimum system requirements, and basically, if you have an XP machine uh, computer, you are able to get this. Um, just make sure you have the basic requirements, which nowadays all computers have these minimum requirements. Okay, so then you want to go to latest version and click it. It's only 6.2 megabytes, not big at all. Okay, so it's very nice. Then you go to save file and you'll come up with an installer. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have it. Install the program and uh, up you should come something like this with the default icons on it. Now, uh, let's say, okay, right click it and unlock it by clicking unlock items like that, okay? So you have a folder and a folder named dude and you want to add it to the rocket dock. All you simply have to do is drag it and drop it wherever you want. As you can see, the rocket dock makes a nice little slot for you, okay? So let's drop it up here on the top, right there. Okay, so let's say in the folder, I'm going to add a fol another folder. Oh, not a shortcut. Should be a shortcut. Uh, briefcase. Microsoft Word document, and you know, okay, so I have some stuff in it now. If I click the folder, there we go, you'll see it, it acts as a shortcut basically. Rocket Doc is basically a shortcut, um, shortcut program, okay? It's basically what it is. And if you have any experience with shortcuts, you'll know that if you delete the icon, now the shortcut won't work. If we click it, uh, there, it's not located on the desktop anymore, and now the shortcut cannot find where your item is. Okay, so you gotta make sure that your icon is always there at the spot that you changed it to or have it at. Okay, so for instance, let's say you have a folder named main. Okay, and in that folder, oh no, I'll make another folder named second. Okay, is that spell second? Oh, that doesn't look right. Whatever. Okay, so second. Now let's say we make the second on. We put that on Rocket Dog. Now let's uh, try it out, and it works. Okay, so that's perfect. Now let's say we drop second inside the main folder. Now let's try it. It does not work. So what you'd have to do is go back into your main where you have your second folder. Oops. Remove this one by simply dragging and dropping it off and add it back onto Rocket Dock from the new location. Now we try it and it works perfectly again. Okay, so that's how you simply use Rocket Dock. Um, Alright, so that's basically Rocket Dock for you. Now, a lot of people ask me how I change my icons. Like, for instance, this is on my dual screen, but I'll just show you. This is my master folder, okay? And it has no icon. By the way, if you want to know how to do that, look at my folders video. Now, um, this is my master folder right here. 
how did I change the icon? Icon. If it's blank right here and it's computer right here. What I did is I went to my internet browser and went to crystalxp.com. Let me show you. I'll just type it in Google. Um, PNG icons. And it's right here. Crystalxp.net slash gallery slash yada yada. So now we have these icons. I just selected one of these and you can download it. Just click it. I'm not going to download it, but this is just so you'll know where I got the icon. And I downloaded a pack, okay? Now all you would have to do is change, um, let's make a new folder then for this example. Right click it and go to properties, go to customize, and go to change icon. Now if you've downloaded uh, an icon pack, you want to go to browse. And look in your desktop for where it is, okay? Now, for me, oops, I clicked the help thing now. Okay. For me, uh, I'm just going to find something really quick. For instance, this start button thing. I don't know. Click apply. Click OK. So now my icon is that start button for Vista. If I drag it on to the rocket dock, boom. Now it's that. I can now change this back to the folder icon. And it'll still work. I just changed the icon. I just kind of tricked it. Okay? So that's basically Rocket Dock for you guys. Um, Alright, so now let's run through the settings of Rocket Dock. Or the settings I have since I have a lot of requests for it. Let's right click it and go to Dock Settings. By the way, you can lock it right now if you want. Let's right click it and go to Dock Settings. And now uh, this is where you would pause the video at any time. Okay? <clears throat> so just take a gander at my settings and change it, I'll change it within five seconds, okay? So I'm gonna turn off my mic now, and uh, it's all up to you. Um, pause it when you need it. So, here we go. Okay, so those are my settings. Um, Alright, so that's basically it. Thanks for watching this video, guys.